Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2021 Hyundai Palisade, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Vehicle Wiring Harness with a four-way flat uh, type connector. So with these Palisades being pretty big SUVs, people do a lot of different things with them and that does include pulling some trailers. And whenever you are pulling a trailer, you're gonna want the lights to work, you know, that way everyone knows what's going on and uh, you'll keep everybody safe. And that's where the wiring's gonna come into play. All right, so this is a four-way flat type connector. Really common style. This works with a lot of, uh, a lot of trailers. And you know, it's gonna provide us with those necessary lighting functions. So whenever we are ready to hook up to our trailer, we'll plug it right in, and that'll give us those turn signals, brake lights, and running lights. So compared to uh, some of the other wiring available for this vehicle, um, one really doesn't have a crazy advantage over the other, uh, to be honest with you. Really, the only difference is the size of the converter box that gets mounted under the car. So, uh, plenty of room down there. It's so not really a huge deal. I will say, though, the Kurt is going to put out uh, or provide us with a little more amperage. But with that said, the other kit is going to give us more than enough, too. So, we're going to be able to power up a bunch of different lights on our trailer, whether they're incandescent type bulbs or even the newer style LEDs. Something I do want to mention is you're probably going to want to get a bracket that way you can mount up your connector similar to this. Um, without brackets you would simply just kind of loop your wiring around the safety chains here but the issue is with that with your spare tire being so close you know you just don't have a ton of space to work so honestly this is about the best uh, setup that I found and just something I wanted to mention. But other than that, you know, at the end of the day, uh, if you're wanting to pull a trailer, this is going to allow those lights to work and get the job done. As far as the installation goes, really not bad at all, actually. You simply just got to drop a panel down, a couple fasteners, super easy. And essentially everything just kind of plugs right in and then you route it. So really shouldn't take up a whole lot of your time or give you uh, too many issues. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be here underneath the back of our Hyundai and we're going to be working over here on the driver's side. We're going to need to remove this underbody panel. So if you look along this bottom edge, we're going to have three push pin type fasteners. And to get these out, you can use a flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to kind of pry underneath the head of it and pull that whole fastener out. So go ahead and do that for all three. And then if we look on this edge here of the panel and we look up, there's going to be some plastic nuts and you can take a 14 millimeter socket and you can just do these by hand. The nuts are actually attached to this underbody panel. So you may have to apply a little downward pressure on it while you're doing that. Once you have it released, we can go ahead and set our panel off to the side for now. So with that panel out of the way, that will expose our electrical connector, which is this here. It is taped up, so I'm just gonna kinda cut that tape off, make it easier to work with here. And it's gonna have a, uh, a dummy plug in it. So it's just a cover from the factory to keep it protected. You need to remove it. You just push on that tab, pull up, and then that will expose the terminals. And once we have that opened up, we can go ahead and grab the connector from our new trailer wiring. And this is simply just gonna plug right in. Now what I went ahead and done was just use some of the zip ties to secure up our converter box. So I just zip tied it around some of this factory wiring there. Kind of just brought our wires together and secured those. And before we go any further, I'm going to take the included fuse, place it into the holder. Now it's going to be a good idea to test our wiring to make sure it's working properly before we get too carried away with routing everything and putting it back together. To test our wiring, I'm using this small tester and I prefer using one of these as opposed to plugging into a trailer. Um, that way if the trailer has any issues, we can bypass those by using this tester. With that said, We'll try our left turn signal, our right turn signal, 
our brakes, and our running lights. Now that we've verified our wiring is working, I went ahead and mounted up our four-way flat connector and routed it over here. I used a no-drill short bracket to secure it to our hitch and a four-way flat bracket to put the connector through there. I did have to kind of trim the edges off a little bit. We just don't have a ton of room to work in here. So I mounted this on our passenger side. That way it don't interfere with our spare tire and I simply just kind of push it up and over our hitch and it goes behind our bumper, kind of secured it along the way. And since uh, I did have to mount it on that passenger side, the wire was a little short, it wasn't a huge deal. I just cut a couple zip ties here and just kind of pulled our wiring a little closer over and re-secured it the same way. So that gave us the length that we need and uh, it turned out pretty good. But with everything hooked up, we'll go ahead and reinstall our underbody panel the opposite way that we removed it. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Vehicle Wiring Harness on our 2021 Hyundai Palisade.